Are you traveling across the United States and worried about someone breaking into your truck? I wasn't, but I should have been. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a safe inside the center console of your Ford Super Duty so you can lock your items up when you go inside of a store. Hi, I'm Steve, the Radar Road Warriors. My wife and I travel across the United States in our 2019 Ford Super Duty. In our first trip to a job site across the United States, we had a good wake-up call about security when I had a window broken out on my truck. Let me tell you how that happened. A job had already started, I was coming in to assist midway. My coworkers had told me that be careful when you're coming down here, we had windows broken out on our trucks a couple weeks ago. They changed where they parked their trucks on the site, and the site was really, really muddy, so we had to park back on the street again. My truck was parked just outside of the gate, I mean, within 50 feet where I was working. There was a green fence between myself and the trucks. I couldn't physically see it, but it was right next to the gate where people were in and out all day long. My boss went out the gate to get some fuel later on in the afternoon. And he says, hey, Steve, you shouldn't leave your window down on the street out here. I'm like, that's kind of odd. I think I rolled them up all this morning. I went out to the street to discover my window was broken into. They rummaged through the truck. After they broke the back window out, went through the glove boxes, things inside. I couldn't find anything that they took of any value at the time. Now one thing that I learned on safety in this whole part is I didn't want to carry my wallet on me in case I lost it inside of a hole because we work construction and I had it underneath of the back seat. That was a seat they crawled on top of after they broke the window. Luckily they didn't pull that seat up because there's glass on top of it and dig around in there because they would have stole my wallet. I did learn a day later when I was inventorying what was possibly gone out of the truck. I used to carry a spare key fob inside the center console in case I ever lost one and I can drive away with the the truck and I wasn't stranded somewhere. They took the key fob. Luckily, they didn't take off the whole truck because it was only a push button start. All it had to do was push the button, take off, they were already inside the vehicle. I learned that after this, by doing some research, snatch and grabs, breaking your windows out happen very, very quick and you might not even be aware of the people around you that are ready to do it. So we upped our security game after that fact, but this isn't a security video on all the details how to protect yourself when you're out and about. I found this vault safe combination that goes inside of the center console and it's something that is going to up our security game. That way if you have to put any valuables such as our GPS or other things and lock them up to go inside of a store, we can secure them better than just putting them inside of the glove box or the plain center console. We're in a busy campground filming this. There might be people driving around, some planes, some birds, some dogs. So if you hear a little background noise, that's what it is. I'm going to show you some of the features of the vault safe that goes inside the center console. Keep in mind, this is for a 2019 Ford Super Duty. It has a Lariat trim, two bucket seats, and a center console in the middle. I know Ford makes them for F-150s and other years of trucks. I'm not sure about other manufacturers if this is made for them or not. This is a Ford branded accessory. And what we have, is this will go inside the center console. When we pick up the center console, we'll see this. And we have a little lock with a combination. We can change that number on that. So once you have a combination, you can get inside. Underneath of that, to mount it in, this goes down in the bottom of the center console. There is a bolt on each side of this that'll secure to the top. And it has screws that will go from the side of this sideways into the center console. Once it's in there, it is not gonna be able to be pulled out. Beans will take out the factory liner on the bottom. They give us a more heavy duty foam one to go back over top of this metal bracket inside of there. Instructions are pretty simple to follow, just a one pager. There's multiple pages for different languages and one of them that tells you how to reprogram the code on the lock. For installation, it only requires a half inch wrench and a 7 16 wrench. For the preparation of the install, it's pretty simple. Take everything out of the center console, including the factory change holder, the foam liner that comes in the bottom, and on the back here, there's a little plastic trim. Any instructions that says take that out. I did a test fit of this, and I did not need to take that out for the install. It wanted to come out pretty hard. I left it be, worked around it, and we'll move past that point. We're gonna show you the before and after of how much room the safe takes up inside the center console. The bottom is pretty much the same, but on the top where your change tray is, I'm gonna figure something different out for that. I'm gonna show you how the pieces that go inside of the center console fit. 
On the bottom piece, this will go up like this once it's in place. Make sure that the sticker with the front on it is laid over top first when you put it into the hole. On the top part where your locking section is, there is a section for nuts to go in the front and the back. The sides are already pre-threaded for the screws to go in there. You will turn the screws in, they will make their own way into the side of the console, so they lock it in place. What I figured out during the install is a GPS power cord that plugs inside of the center console. When I run the cord up and out of the little locking door, it pinches the wire off. I picked up a rubber grommet to drill a hole inside of the top of the vault. That way I can run the wire through that and it's still secure inside of the center console. It took a few tries drilling with the step bit to make sure I got the right size, didn't drill a hole too big. It's a nice snug fit and the hole's big enough that I can put the end of the power cord through and run it to the GPS. Install was pretty simple, right down to the finishing touches of putting the bottom piece of foam in there. I'm usually a power tool type of guy when I install things, but this was not hard at all, just using a couple wrenches to screw the screws in and tighten the nuts. Let's see if my GPS cable fits through here the way I was hoping for. Perfect. Now that can run out up to the dash. Close the top, and you can see how much room there is for storage up top. What I'll probably do is a couple loose items I usually leave in there. I'll just throw them on top and move them out of the way when I want to get down to the bottom. Installation is complete. It only took around 15 minutes. If you found some value in this video, please give it a like so other people can find it as well. We have links to the products we talked about in the video in the description down below so you can check it out. We make how-to videos to help you out. If you want to see more videos like that, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.